Good morning. Happy Saturday morning makes. Today is episode three of 2024. It's going to feature peachy keen stamps and some snowman tags that I've created, some layered snowman tags. Um, but most importantly, Two Crafters One Design and Saturday Morning Makes are um, featuring peachy keen stamps this weekend or any face, um, any project with a face. We don't want to leave anybody out. So if you don't have peachy keen stamps, but you have other face stamps, you can certainly use those. Um, and because we're celebrating peachy keen stamps, the wonderful Kathy Jakopovich, who is the owner of peachy keen stamps, offered all of each one of us a $30 gift certificate to give away today. So you can go to either Mo Creations, Gurlia's Cards, UCY I'm a Diva, as well as here at Greenwood Girl Cards, Jillian Norwood Designs, and you can leave a comment on every single video and become eligible for these $30 gift certificate giveaways. Okay, there'll be a giveaway um, from each of the channels. So please go and visit all four channels, uh, Melissa of Mo Creations, Gloria of Gurlia's Cards, Lisa of UCY I'm a Diva, and of course you're here right now. I'm of course Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards. I am the host of Saturday Morning Makes, and um, I am so happy that you're joining me this morning. So Saturday Morning Makes, if you're new to my channel, um, is a hashtag that I started during COVID and also Really, I started it for myself as a busy mom um, to allow myself an hour or two on Saturday mornings to create. After a very busy week of work, I would always dive into all of my housework and I would never have time on the weekends to create. So I decided to put myself first, to feed my soul first for at least an hour or two each Saturday morning to allow myself to create and to feed my soul before going on with all the housework, the laundry, the dishes in the sink, all the things that busy parents have to contend with. So I invite all of you, each one of you, to join me in this open art collaboration each weekend or whenever your days off are or whenever you have time to create. Maybe you're a nighttime creator um, in the evenings or maybe you have Sundays off or Wednesdays off. Whatever day it is, I hope you will play along with Satmorn Makes. You can hashtag your project um, with the hashtag, which is S-A-T-Sat, M-O-R-N, Morn, Makes, M-A-K-E-S. And that is just a moniker or a hashtag to allow all of us to find your projects, no matter when you upload it. Okay, there's also a Facebook group that my sweet friend Jana and her friend, I think, is it Carmen? Oh, my goodness. Um, they run the Facebook group over um, there, and it's called Saturday Morning Makes and Today's Makes Too. You can post there, but you really can post um, anywhere you'd like. Most of us post on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. So I invite you to play along and uh, to create art, to feed your soul, and then do all the other things that we all have to do <laughs> in order to make our lives work. So let me dive in today. So today, again, we are featuring Peachy Keen Stamps. You can use the code JILL10, all one word, um, to get 10% off at the Peachy Keen Stamps website. Um, I am an affiliate marketer for Peachy Keen. I like to say that up front. I get a small commission. If uh, a sale goes through and you happen to use my code, I will get a small commission. Um, and I like to, th I always like to thank Kathy, number one, for coming out of retirement, but most of all, just for being the wonderful stamp manufacturer. Her and her husband, Dave, make the most beautiful, high-quality stamps. They have image stamps as well as face stamps, and um, I did a huge release a couple weeks back. You can look for that video that shows all the big winter releases that we just did. Um, and right before that, we also did an autumn release with Scarecrows and so many beautiful products. Go to their website. You will not be disappointed. Um, so what I thought I would do this morning, I'm going to dive right in here. Don't forget about the code. Um, and I will put all the information in the drop down menu, including the hop that we're doing between the four channels um, uh, for this giveaway. So the four $30 gift cards. OK, and we will be announcing the gift card winners um, on the following uh, Saturday, which is Saturday, February 3rd. Okay, so during those episodes of Saturday Morning Makes and Two Crafters, One Designs, we will each announce our winner of the $30 gift certificate on our particular YouTube channel. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Okay, so you can comment through Friday, February 2nd at 9 a.m. We're going to be drawing winners after 9 a.m. on Friday to announce on our Saturday videos. Okay, 
Um, I think that's everything. So let's dive in. What I did today, I have some beautiful tags to show you that I've been working on. Um, and you can use them as Valentine tags. You could use them as Christmas tags, uh, you know, little snowman ornaments on your tree. But um, I used a variety of different face stamps. And I thought really quick, I would just go through and show you some of the beautiful face stamps that Kathy has in her shop for snowman faces. So this is PK1891 Candy Cane 1 and 1 8 inch face set. These are adorable, and I love using these ones where, <laughs> where the snowman either has a candy cane nose or a candy cane in its mouth. And this is one of my very favorites right here, the blinking one. So that, again, is PK1891 Candy Cane Face Set. And there's what the stamps look like on the back. Then there's this one, which is a small set, PK548, one and a quarter inch snow faces. And this has one with its eyes closed and one with its open. And they got the coal mouths on this one, okay? Then we have the Happy Lashes, PK461. And I love these laughing faces where the snow, um, the snowman's nose is tilted up or straight out, but their, their mouths are open and they're laughing. And there's also one in here for um, making some birds or penguins, um, as well as just some regular sets. So this kind of gives you a variety and it's called the Happy Lashes PK461, a one and one eighth inch face set, okay? Then this one is a fun one to have. This is PK1781, build your own emojis face set. So you can build all sorts of faces using the separate pieces. This is a nice one to have for the glasses. And Kathy also has a glasses die set in her store now where you can die cut the glasses out of cardstock. So this one again is PK1781, and that is what it looks like for the individual stamps on the back. This is PK1881. This is her ornament face set. This is wonderful to use with wood ornaments or um, just to add to ornament faces. Um, you can die cut little uh, ornaments out of um, your dies and then apply these onto them and make the most adorable ornaments. And uh, I, I just love this set. This is PK1881 ornament, and that is the size of these ones. They're one and one eighth. Um, this is PK1881. Uh, oh, is this the same one? Ooh, this is. This is a duplicate. I'll have to give that away in the future. I have a duplicate of that one. I think Kathy sent me two by accident. Okay, this one is PK1446, The Happy Snow Couples. And this is definitely one of my very, very favorite sets. Um, and I just love the expressions on these particular snow faces. Um, and I love how the noses are tipped up. And um, they are, the expressions on their faces are just precious. So again, happy snow couples, PK1446. And you've seen me, I featured these on my My Creative Time Snowmen that I did when we did the My Creative Time release, uh, the last release where we um, released all the little snow, snow girl and snow boy dies. And those are going to be back in stamp um, or back in stock with My Creative Time with the upcoming release that's coming up this next week. So be ready for that. I'm excited and I'm working on projects along with the entire design team. Um, there's, of course, always my PK3000, Jill's Favorites Assortment. This one does have some snowman faces in it that you can use. And really, you can make snowman faces out of any face, however you want to do it. Um, but this also has the little cheeks that you can stamp on to their faces, too, in pink ink. Um, and it's a lot of fun to play with this set overall. Um, if you only want to invest in one set, these big assortment sets are really nice to have. Um, because I these will fit almost every die that you might have in your arsenal. Um, and you've seen me explain that on many other previous videos. So that's my Jill's Favorites PK3000. Then these are some larger faces. These are 1 and 7 eighths inch, and this is PK1893, and this is the candy cane faces. I love these ones again. Like I said, this is a larger size of the ones where they have um, the little candy cane coming out of the nose or um, also in the mouth. So these ones are bigger. You can see the difference in size from the one and one eighth. And those ones are one and seven eighth. Then we have a one and five eighths inch set. And again, these are sized so that you can all do, do all sorts of different sizes of projects. This is the ornament set again, and it's a PK1882. And so it has both um, standard faces, snowman faces, bird or penguin faces, etc. And then you have one in there that has the little candy cane. And I love the eyes in this set. The eyes are nice and big. 
So just such a fun set. PK1882 ornament, one and five eighths inch uh, face set. So that's what that one looks like. Then we have this one. This is PK2520. This is winter faces. These are two and a half inches. And this is Addie, Darlene, and Deb stamp set. And these are named after some of after some of Kathy's um, either family or friends. I can't remember on this one. Um, but anyway, these again can be used for so many different things. And these are a larger face stamp. And I, you have seen me use these faces on gingerbreads many times and also on my giant snowmen. So uh, those are just so fun. Then we have PK1892, the candy cane, one and five eight eighth inch face set. And again, this is the one that has all the candy canes. It also has some with charcoal mouths. And uh, this is just a little bit uh, different size. Again, these ones are one and five eighths. Okay. Then we have this set, which is PK1883, the ornament one and seven eighth inch face stamp set. Again, these are all used to make ornaments of various sizes, depending on what your project is and what size you might need. PK520 is the snow face assortment. And you have seen me use this many times in the past too, especially for smaller snowmen. What's wonderful about these assortment sets is that you start at three eighths and you go from three eighths to a half inch, five eighths, three quarter inch, one inch, all the way up to one and five eighths inch. And so this set has all the different sizes of faces you might need. And these are wonderful sets to own to make snowmen of all different sizes. And then this is another favorite of mine. This is the Happy Lashes Face Assortment. And this one also has some snowmen faces in it. So if you'd rather buy a variety pack that can do penguins and then all sorts of different smiley faces, as well as snowmen, this Happy Lashes Face Assortment PK460 is a wonderful set to have. And then the very last one I'll show you is this PK2511 Happy Winter Faces. These are two inch faces. So these are below the three inch, but these are a nice big two inch face set. So that's what those ones look like. And um, that one I have in there upside down. Uh, but I love these faces and you've seen me use these on many of my projects over the years. Okay. So again, PK2511 and this one is the two inch face. And then if you also, when you go in and look, I also have a Jill's favorite set that is the larger three inch uh, face stamps. And um, it's my Jill's favorite faces, uh, Jill's favorite bigger faces, I believe is what the name of it is. So anyway, there's so many stamps to choose from. I just thought today it'd be fun to go through those so that you can really see the stamps. It's nice to be able to actually see the sets um, in person, I think, on video versus just trying to look at them in the store. Um, so I hope that uh, helps you out if you're someone that is new to Peachy Keen stamps and maybe is looking to purchase some. So let me dive in and uh, show you some of the other products I used. Uh, again, don't forget to use that discount code if you want 10% off your purchase at Peachy Keen, the Jill 10, all one word. But let me show you some of the other things I used. From my creative time, I used this uh, Valentine's uh, mini Valentine stamp set. It's MCT 351. And I stamped these out and I use these um, on the backs of some of my uh, tags that I'm going to show you so that they could be used as Valentine's. So if you're looking for an idea for classroom Valentine's, I'm going to show you something that would work really well. And then you saw me show this uh, many times. This is the Sending Love uh, stamp set MCT 375 from My Creative Time. And this is one of those, you know, both of these are wonderful Valentine sets to have. Um, I especially love this one just because of some of the additional graphics that are in here. Um, and I, this little I love you, I love that. And the X's and O's so you can stamp hugs and kisses on things. So this is such a great stamp set to have in your stash. Sending Love MCT 375. And um, I used, I what I do when I'm in a hurry, I just ink up the, I take this out and I ink up the whole set and then I stamp, I take my paper and I press my paper down onto it so that I can stamp all the sentiments at once. That's just a way, to, a shortcut. Um, I also love this set for Valentine's. There's a stamp in here, if you're making snowman tags, that says there's nobody like you. And again, this applies to Christmas also. But this is the Warm and Fuzzy Hugs MCT 394. This is the only snowman set um, of stamps that are in my Creative Time store. But again, the, the Snow um, Girl and Snow Boy dies are going to be back in stock this week. So if you're thinking of using those for Valentine's, they will be available. But I love this stamp set because there's, there's this, there's nobody like you. 
Um, and I think that is such a wonderful sentiment, especially for kids, um, because each one of us is so unique. But it has so many great things. It has warm and fuzzy hugs. Um, it has winter cheer, let it snow. You're a cool friend, which would be another one you could use for Valentine's. And these little snowmen would make, you know, you could just do that right there, stamp that out and have an adorable Valentine. Um, you know, so super easy. Anyway, um, along with that, um, for the tags I'm going to show you, I use the Snowball Stitched Frame Dies and the Snowball Frame Dies. So these are MCT D440 and 441. Uh, the 441 is the stitched ones, and then the 440 is the plain ones. And these are made to layer together. And um, I love the way they look like snowballs. They're uneven like a snowball would be. And you'll see how I use them in just a moment. The other things I used are the mini bow dies, which is MCT D310 and uh, MCT D474, which is the Christmas charms. I used that little snowflake charm. So those are all the products that I used. Um, I also did use some twine, this hemp twine, which you can get on Amazon. I used some various pins and jump rings and stuff and buttons, lots of buttons. I used some white buttons, some black buttons, as well as some of those prim buttons that I had shown you um, before. And uh, let me go ahead and pull these out. I'm going to set them down here and then we'll kind of go through them. So I did layer um, various amounts of the snowballs up of those snowball die cuts from my creative time. I layered various amounts of them up to create these tags. And I had so much fun playing with them. Um, I also used some diamond stickles on a few of them to really make them sparkle. And um, uh, this one I need to put a jump ring instead of a instead of a garment pin. But uh, I wanted to show you the, the, the idea of using just a jump ring too. And uh, all right, let's see. Where can I put this one? I'll put them like that. All right, I'm gonna move this basket out of the way. Um, the other thing that I used, which I did not grab, what did I do with them? Um, let me grab a couple things really quick. Um, so from Lily of the Valley, I also used their stamps and these are their, um, winter icon. Um, this is their icon stamp set. And I used the little, um, the little snowman icon and I think the snowflake icon right here. And then I also used this stamp set, which is the Christmas sentiment tags from Lily of the Valley. And uh, Lily of the Valley is such a wonderful company as far as having tags of various um, types for both baking and just any type of uh, fall. They have them for the different seasons. Um, they have them for the holidays. And uh, I love, if you've been with me for any length of time, I've been making videos since I think 2009 or 2010. Um, if you've been on my channel with me, then you've seen me use these many, many times over um, my time of making videos. And they're a wonderful company, Lily of the Valley. And we have some very exciting things coming out for spring. Um, and it's something that everybody's been asking for for a very long time. And I'm very excited about it. So stay tuned for that. Um, and uh, let me show you, I did stamp these cute little LOTV tags out and I am in the process of adding them to the tags below. I've put them on a few, but not all of them yet. And uh, sometimes I'm not sure uh, how I'm gonna finish things off necessarily, but I wanted to have enough of these that I could add some to each one of them. And I just love these little snowmen and you can even color them up if you want. Um, but I just stamped them onto some uh, blue and white uh, gingham paper. Uh, so I thought that made them look more wintry. So I am using those and I just wanted to show that to you. But let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you the tags. So I, I did make these uh, with the idea of giving them out for Valentine's Day. And um, I just... <laughs> I love these ones where the little candy cane is poking out. I don't know about you guys, but it just makes me smile. So um, I did add, this is the little bow die from My Creative Time, and I did tie some twine, some of that hemp twine, through a white button, and it's a flower-shaped button. I just tied it in a knot at the back, and then I cut it so these two little uh, pieces would stick up. And uh, that adds just a little um, decoration to this. I used some of my, I didn't bring this in, but I used some of the sparkle yarn that you can get at any of the craft stores along with um, some bobble trim. And that is what I tied through uh, the tags at the top. Uh, or you can just glue it on. I'm trying to remember, did I just, I think I just glued them. I glued them in place with hot glue. 
So, and then I don't know if you can tell, but I did pop up the levels with pop dots in between. So, um, and I embossed, a lot of the snowflakes are embossed with a snowflake impression plate. Um, I believe this one is from Concord and Ninth, and I forgot to pull that out to show you guys. But what's fun about that is you have this beautiful texture on the back. I added a little heart to this to show you how you could use it as a Valentine. Your child could just say, um, uh, just sign their name here from their name if they're little. Uh, that's the way I used to do it when my son was little. He would just sign his name to 24 of them or however many kids were in the class. And, uh, and that way he could just hand them out. Um, or you can write a to and from and you can put to you from Tim, you know, or from your child's name. But anyway, um, so you can add a little heart, you could put a sentiment, and I'll show you somewhere I've added a sentiment. But um, I just think these are so cute and it just makes me smile, these little faces, especially the ones with the candy canes. So there's that one. Here's another one um, where the, the nose is the candy cane and she's got her eyes closed like that. And um, this one just has a blue ribbon uh, that I think someone gave to me, a beautiful snowflake ribbon. Again, it's using those same bobble trims and the little sparkle white yarn. And then this one I left blank on the back so far. Um, here's one where you could take a jump ring and just attach the Let It Snow tag down to the bottom. You could also say, Be My Valentine, and you could put a little additional little circle, have that hanging down, Be My Valentine. There's so many ways you could do these. Um, but this one I kept a lot more simple, and I just did the little Let It Snow hanging down. Um, I did do one shaker. I'll show you that really quick. So this has a bunch of shakety shake in it, as Tim Holtz would say. Uh, and it's uh, it has a sweet um, face again with a little candy cane. I colored in the eye blue. Um, I used a snowflake, I believe, is this a, I'm trying to remember where this dye is from. Uh, it might be paper tray ink or my, or, um, oh gosh, I just can't remember wh whose dye that is. But I had this cut out and I just cut a circle out of the center so that I could create my shaker and then glued that over one of the sizes of the snowball dies for my creative time. And then I took a larger snowball die and I cut it out in red this time to pick up on the red nose in here. And I just thought that was kind of fun. I added the Let It Snow tag and the little snowman tag from Lily of the Valley. And then I added um, this, this ribbon actually has wire in it. So it holds its shape really, really well. And I just added that on top of the tie that I did. So these are just so much fun. And and again, with this red back, it, it would bring the Valentines into it more. And you could certainly put your to and from here or some hearts or decorate the back in some way. But you can see this one is beautifully embossed with that snowflake embossing folder or embossing plate, again, from um, Concord and Ninth. So um, I'm pretty sure it's the Concord and Ninth one. So uh, let me see. Let me do this one here. So here's another one where I use the bow from My Creative Time and a little flower button. And uh, on the back of this one, I just glued a little heart. And then I put Happy Valentine's Day, which is one of the sentiments from those My Creative Time Valentine's stamp sets. So just so fun. Easy way to make a Valentine that your child can hand out. And you can do both girls and boys. You know, you can make some of them for girls, some of them for boys if you wanted. Um, here's one where I added um, that little snowflake charm from my creative time. So that's the little snowflake charm, the little snowman uh, ticket or tag from uh, Lily of the Valley. And this one, I just made it really small. It's just two of the little snowballs. And then this cute face that has um, the charcoal on it, which I just love those, the little charcoal mouth. So just so sweet. And on the back of this one, I added XOXO. So hugs and kisses. So really, really cute and easy to do. Here's another one. This is one of the first ones I ever made. And uh, this one says, there's nobody like you, which is that sentiment from the snowman set from My Creative Time. I love this face where the eyes are closed and uh, you have the cute little um, charcoal mouth. It's just so cute. I did the little bow that's made with the hearts. This is a little heart bow that's in that bow set from My Creative Time. And I added one of my prim buttons in a bluish purple color. I thought that was cute. And then this one only has the bobble trim, not the yarn. So you can keep it more simple if you want and do it that way. And then on the back of this, I did a to and from and you make my heart happy with a little heart tag. And I forgot to bring these in, in but this is a set of mini tags that is in the My Creative Time shop. I forgot. I think I forgot to show you guys that. I think it's still out on my table. Um, so I apologize. 
Uh, but anyway, these are just so, so fun. And uh, I especially love their Snowbody Like You. I love that sentiment from that snowman stamp set from my creative time. It's just so sweet. And on this one, you can see I used vellum in between for my second snowball. It's actually made of vellum um, that is embossed with little uh, snow um, in a snow uh, embossing folder, I think. I think it's a, a Sizzix one, and it just has random snow on the embossing folder. So I embossed the vellum with that, put it underneath the first one, and then added a, a last one, a uh, bigger size to the back so that it would hold my sentiment tag. So that's what that one looks like. I love how the cute, how cute this little heart bow is for Valentine's Day. And uh, these would be so, so cute to hand out to classmates. Um, here's a little one where she's wearing a turquoise bow. And this is one of the faces with the big eyes, which I just love. Oh my gosh, they just make me smile. Are you guys smiling? I hope you are. <laughs> And then you can see where I used that beautiful sparkle yarn along with the bobble trim to make my little tie. And uh, this one, um, I didn't decorate the back, but you can see the snowflake embossing. Um, but again, I think these would be so sweet to hand out for Valentine's Day. And you could definitely decide how you want to do your child's name and information on the back. Sometimes it's easier to just... Uh, have your child sign um, sign his name one time and you take it and multiply it on your photocopier. Um, and that way you can just cut it up uh, and have them glue that piece to the back. Um, and I've done that before too, just to save time. So um, that's that one. Uh, here's this one. I added this little let it snow message to the top of it and uh, this one has four layers and the back layer is red for valentine's and you could certainly go on the back here and add um, a little heart and a message um, i love that she has a, a stamp that says happy galentine's day and i know i used that on one of these let's see if i can find it where is the one that i did happy galentine's where are you here it is. So this is the one where it says Happy Galentine's Day, and I love that. So for all your girlfriends, <laughs> um, such a sweet, sweet idea to have that as a sentiment. So um, those are all of them. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these today for our um, so for our wonderful episode, our third episode of 2024 for Saturday Morning Makes. Um, I send my love out to all of you for Valentine's Day. Um, and I just hope you'll all remember to leave a comment um, and uh, be part of the drawing for a $30 gift certificate to Peachy Keen Stamps. Um, and I want to thank Kathy and Dave Jakopovich for all they do for this community. Uh, Kathy did a big giveaway on my channel for our very first episode of 2024, and now she's doing these giveaways again. Kathy and Dave, thank you so much for making crafting so much fun in this community. Um, I just am so appreciative and uh, I'm very blessed uh, to be able to work with them and to feature their beautiful products for crafting. So for paper crafting and really off the page crafting, home decor, there's so many things you can do with stamps. So um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Again, don't forget to hop around to all the channels, Mo Creations, Girly as Card, UCY I'm a Diva, and my channel here. Make sure you leave comments on all four channels so that you have four chances to win a $30 gift card, okay? And uh, I'm very excited. Um, uh, that we're sh sharing Peachy Keen stamps this whole week, and I hope to see many beautiful projects, I know I will, out on the uh, e-waves, as they say. So um, everybody that is, uh, I, I have a lot of friends right now that have ill parents and uh, ill loved ones, and uh, my heart is with all of you, uh, Tammy, Sue, Susan, um, Mary, uh, Gina. There's just a lot of people in my life that... Um, are, are dealing with hard things. And I think this life isn't easy for any of us, uh, Anna and Ginger, and just so many people that I can think of that uh, are in my prayers. My uncle Dan is in my prayers. Um, my family is in my prayers for the loss of my father in love, Wendell, and still my family for the loss of my dad. And I know we all have loss in our lives. So I lift you all up to God. I lift you all up in my thoughts that you have peace and that you're able to choose joy and celebrate the things that are good in your life. It's what helps us get through the dark times. We have to choose joy. And I was reading a beautiful, um, there's a gardener on Instagram that I just started following today. And she was talking about how much planting 
plants working in your garden and being out in nature can feed your soul and just help you through things that are hard. And I'm a firm believer in that. Anyone that's grown a garden that has grown flowers or plants or food, uh, it is just an, a, a very rewarding thing. And while you're out there, you hear the birds singing and it just makes you happy. And so if you know paper crafting doesn't bring you joy or whatever type of crafting you're sharing with us, whether it's embroidery or crochet or whatever, um, perhaps it's gardening. And uh, I know I love to share joy with anybody that wants to share it. So whatever type of heart you wanna share, I hope that you'll hashtag it Satmorn Makes or Two Crafters One Design and join us in this wonderful art collaborations that we have here um, in this wonderful uh, YouTube community and beyond um, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, etc. So I thank you all for joining me today. Blessings and hugs. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye now. Oh, and don't forget to join us for the My Creative Time release starting Tuesday morning, okay? All right, we've got lots of fun projects to share with you uh, using all the new products from My Creative Time. All right, bye everybody.